Good morning, Sagittarius. Cheers to you. Hope you're doing well, getting ready to do your love and romance reading. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Singles, couples, everyone in between, including cross watchers. Not all messages will resonate for everyone, so take what you like and leave the rest. And also, as always, the storylines can be flipped. It just depends on what role you're playing with your partner. I can only read the positions of the cards over here, so just keep that in mind. All right, angels and guides, what is coming in for Sagittarius, please? What is coming in for Sagittarius? Love and romance. This is being posted in March of 2021, but my readings are timeless. That's what I prefer them to be. So I'm not posting, um, you know, months with this. It's just a reading for Sagittarius. Whenever you come across it on your timeline, it could be a year from now. It could be two weeks from now, whatever. So pay attention to titles and what resonates for you, even on past readings that have been already been posted. All right, Saggies, love and romance. What's going on with your person? What are they thinking? What are they feeling? What's their impression of you? How are they reacting to you? What do they want? Where is this connection or relationship going? Again, those of you, you know, who are already involved with somebody, that's one thing. This is also for people who are separated or estranged from their person of interest. So keep that in mind too. Just whoever is on your mind and in your heart. All right, here we go. Let's move this out of the way. So Sagittarius, how your person is reacting to you right now is the 10 of Pentacles. Their current impression of you is the Three of Cups. What they think about you at this time is the Five of Swords. How they feel about you right now is the Six of Wands. The action that they wanna to take towards you is the King of Cups. The action that they will take towards you is the Devil card. What their soul wants in this connection is the magician and the outcome that they're hoping for is the Knight of Pentacles. Interesting. Hmm. Bottom of the deck here, four of wands. So this is definitely a connection where either you are committed to this person, already married to this person, or others of you, this is a type of connection that has made you feel like this person might be the one, the life partner, the person that you've been waiting for. There can also be commitment on the table or somebody is commitment phobic, a problem around commitment. Knight of Swords, there could have been news that came in around commitment or somebody's loyalty to the other person. Maybe messing around is entirely possible, giving and receiving a cup elsewhere page. So it's kind of very small. It could be flirting. It could be, you know, a wandering eye. It could be uh, somebody who is actually entertaining other people. Lots of messages here. Um, you know, and love, <clears throat> 10 of cups, happily ever after and soulmate. Now, maybe for some of you is, you know, maybe you met somebody. Okay. And that, that one storyline is one storyline. The other possibility with this combination is that this person that you are connected to is somebody that you met maybe unexpectedly in the past, um, or currently where it kind of just came together fast and furious. Uh, you guys were very interested in each other. There was a lot of quick communication. There was an offer made, lots and lots of messages and plans and phone calls and texts. You guys, you know, your cup of was running over with each other. You just had, you know, starry eyes of, you know, happily ever after here with, um, you know, these three card combinations. This is soulmate energy here for sure. And then all of a sudden something could have blocked communication or gotten very confusing about lovers, love relationships, somebody feeling bound and tied and mentally conflicted and conflict, right? Needing a new beginning in um, <clears throat> communication. So kind of general and vague, but it just gives me a little bit of a feeling of the past for you guys. So the reaction to you, what does this mean? As I've been saying in all the videos, how your person is reacting to you, whether you're with them or not, okay? Those of you that are in a current partnership, they could be reacting to you, well, they are reacting to you all the time because you guys are always interacting with each other. 
They could be wanting commitment with you. You want commitment with them, something along those lines. Those of you that are broken up, estranged, separated, whatever, your person is still reacting to you in terms of their thoughts, their feelings, when they look at your photo, when they see you online, when they see what you've been up to, etc. Maybe for some of you, you've broken up with this person or they did you and you have moved on to a new partnership and commitment. This Ten of Pentacles is definitely talking about marriage and foundation, you know, building a home, building a life together. Children, in-laws, family uh, traditions, as well as inheritance and family money. So, you know, something going on there. This can also just be talking about how they're reacting to you as, you know, either stable or they see you as a source of stability, something along those lines. It'll be very interesting when the clarifiers come out. The Three of Cups is their impression of you. So this is interesting because on the positive side, for, for those of you that this resonates for, your person's impression of you is somebody who is lighthearted, fun, they want to be around you, they're drawn to your light, you know what I mean? This is eat, drink, and be merry with your friends, uh, you know, they remember the good times with you, they want to get back to that. On the shadow side of this card, some of you, your person's impression of you is that you are entertaining other offers, there's a third party involved here. Um, or you're just out partying, you're having fun with your friends, you're not really putting this person or this situation, this relationship as a priority, um, and, uh, and you're keeping your options open as far as dating or maybe other offers that could come in. Interesting. Um, yeah, and just this fun vibe, that's just what I keep getting. Um, what they think about you, though, is the Five of Swords, so that's not very positive. Um, you know, mental conflict, mental mind games, manipulation, strife, ego, one-upmanship, false victories. Um, you know, this could be jealousy as well. So I don't know if they think that you are that way toward them or if they feel this way toward you, but we'll find out. How they feel about you is the six of wands. So either they want to have a victory with you. This is this is can be indicating that they want a positive outcome. They want to fix whatever is broken and finally have that breakthrough. Or how they feel about you is that they want attention from you or they're giving attention for, to you. Or what this could mean is that they feel that you are arrogant and egotistical and you want a lot of attention from a lot of people. So a couple different potentials there. The action that they want to take towards you is the King of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. But nonetheless, so the action that they want to take towards you, the King of Cups is in love. Okay, whether it's male or female. For sure, there is love there. This person, it's not over for them. They've got you under their skin, you know. Their cupeth runneth over, even though it looks empty in this photo. He's reserving all of his love and gazing at you, <laughs> right? Or she. Now, what this can mean, too, is that somebody is withholding their feelings on the shadow side of the King of Cups. He can be somebody who is hard to communicate his true feelings um, and thoughts. Somebody who can be... Uh, you know, emotionally unavailable or they're available, but they're just not verbal, that kind of thing, or just kind of insecure about putting themselves out there. But the action that they want to take toward you is love you. The action that they want to take toward you is um, make an offer of some kind. It'll definitely be interesting when the clarifiers come out to see what is really behind this card. But the action that they will take towards you, that they're going to, is the devil card. Not good. Um, this is definitely baggage and drama, lower level energy, narcissism, obsession, possession, um, negativity, uh, toxicity, bondage, addictions. Okay, you get what I'm trying to say. This can also be addicted to sex or maybe they're just, you know, they just really want that with you. Um, or the action that they're going to take towards you is toxic or the action that they're going to take towards you is just something connected to all of those things. I just don't know. Um, yeah, we definitely need some clarifiers. Uh, the soul wants in this connection is the magician. So because this is on the soul level, this doesn't this doesn't cover a shadow side because on the true soul level is pure light. So on the soul level, this person definitely wants a new beginning with you or they want to manifest magic with you or they want to move this forward in some way and heal the past. And then the outcome that they're hoping for is the Knight of Pentacles giving and or receiving an offer. Okay. Also taking it slow, taking their time. They're being very strategic. Um, 
when the Knight of Pentacles is around in terms of what move they're going to make. So they've probably been watching you, keeping their eye on you. They're not sure, you know, when the right time is to make a move toward you and if you'll receive them well or if you'll reject them, okay? Uh, so this is very interesting. Let's go ahead and get some clarifiers. Less than 10 minutes in, this was a very fast reading. You should see some of the other videos like... Um, Capricorn, for example, I think theirs was over 30 minutes long and their extended video was 55 minutes long. I mean, it was really heavy reading. This one, uh, you know, and the others, they're in the 20 minute mark, 30 minute mark. This one is pretty straightforward right now. All right, angels and guides. Let's go ahead and split the deck. Um, shuffle and pull from the top. I'm just gonna get one placement for each position before we, um, one placement. One card for each position or one card for each placement. <laughs> Please clarify this entire reading for Sagittarius. So what is going on with their person? <clears throat> and then we can obviously, we can and will pull more clarifiers in the extended to really open up the storyline and see what's going on here. All right. Let me get a sip of coffee. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups. That's positive. Happily ever after, really wanting that with the nine of wands. Wow. Feeling battered, beaten, bruised, torn, and bleeding about this connection, this relationship, coulda, woulda, shoulda, something that fell through, um, and needing a lot of healing. So something has definitely happened between you and your person. <clears throat> this is how they see you. Wow. I'm sorry, not how they see you, how they're reacting to you. So this can mean that they are holding back on commitment right? They're in the hangman mode. Hangman mode. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. Doesn't have to be though. But you know, they're not, uh, they're hanging back. They're not taking action. Um, those of you that are currently in a committed partnership and or a marriage with this person, you've already got the commitment, the ring, the house, the kids, whatever, but they're not pulling their weight or they're not taking action to do something or to fix something or to take initiative to, you know, heal something, whatever it is, okay? Others of you, this person is holding back. If you're single and you're just involved with them or you're dating them or you're estranged from them, they're not taking action towards you because either they're currently married or involved with someone else or you are or you're dealing with somebody who's a commitment phobe, okay? Or they're just not taking action on building a foundation and or, you know, healing this at this time. <clears throat> This is their current impression of you. So the Page of Pentacles with the Three of Cups. This could be that for some of you Saggies out there, you have broken free from this person. They're keeping an eye on you at a distance and they see you out there living your best life and investing in yourself, which is really positive energy. You're working on yourself. This is a card of honesty, integrity, and dignity, but also you know, drop in some coin to improve yourself in some way. You could be taking uh, extracurricular activities. You signed up for a class. You're investing in a new business. Um, you're investing in going back to school, uh, whatever it is, right? Or just investing in yourself, your health and your appearance and all those kinds of things. Um, and or they could see you as somebody who is just living your best life and you're open to other authors. Uh, authors. Wow, that's interesting. Talk about a Freudian slip. Authors. How many of you watching this are an author or have always wanted to write or be a published author of books, you know, fiction, nonfiction, novels, articles, whatever? That's very interesting. Why did authors come out? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, seems so like not even uh, in the realm of... Um, like possibility in terms of like my my tongue just kind of trying to grab a word that fits with what I'm even saying. So that's really interesting. Um, so what was I saying? <laughs> 
Maybe some of you are working on a book or a manuscript, or maybe you've always had that dream and this is the sign from spirit, uh, that synchronicity to let you know to get started on it. I don't know. But nonetheless, uh, you're receiving other offers from potential suitors, okay? So there's that. That's really interesting. Now, the other thing is, is that somebody could owe the other person an apology here, whether it's you to them or them to you, because the Page of Pentacles is definitely an apology card. Somebody needing to stand in their honor, integrity, and dignity, right? On the shadow side of this combination, this would be somebody who's always partying too much and out with their friends, and they're not like being true to who they are honor, integrity, dignity. Um, they, you know, have immature behavior. They're blaming it on other people all the time, etc. But I think that that's really a secondary, third, fourth storyline for some of you. I think for the majority of you, their impression of you is that you're either living your best life and working on yourself or living your best life and investing in yourself or something new, or you're living your best life and open to other offers. That's interesting. What do they think of you? Ooh, wow. For some of you, you're definitely married. <clears throat> the queen and king of pentacles is married in the tarot, and we've got that ten of pentacles. So for some of you, you're definitely married to this person, and they are in a lot of mental conflict about you over this marriage. They also think that you are in a lot of mental conflict about this marriage. Now, others of you are just committed to this person. You're not married yet, but you're committed. You're living together. It's kind of the same energy. Now, for those of you dealing with a third party situation, whether you're married and cheating on your spouse with this person or they are with you, somebody's definitely conflicted over, you know, doing so. So that is really interesting what they think of you right now. So they do see you, though, as the Queen of Pentacles. Typically speaking, the Queen of Pentacles, obviously married and wife, okay? And whether you're male or female. But typically speaking, she is independent, well-rounded, grounded, in, you know, in... Um, independent, like I just said, but self-sufficient is what I was trying to say, makes her own money, makes her own way in the world. Now that may not feel like it rings true for those of you who are married and have been married for 20 years and you rely on this marriage for your financial stability. But others of you could be in that position and they see you as that. Now, some of you are, you know, if you're old school marriage and you know, the husband is the provider and you're the stay at home wife, then they could feel conflicted about you and this marriage or your position or what you're doing or taking. Maybe their reaction to you is you are the one. If you flip the storyline, who is not budging on something when it comes to this commitment. You're not budging. You're not backing down. You're not giving in. Uh, you are waiting for them to do something that they need to do. And so maybe they are mentally conflicted over the fact that you have a very strong boundary and you're holding your ground. So that's what I'm seeing there. How they feel about you. Wow. Well, my first blush is that they really want to work this out. Really, really want to work this out. They want a victory. They want to put in the elbow grease. They want to do what it takes to get you back. Now, how they could feel about you for others of you is that you are, you know, having um, success. You're working on yourself. The Eight of Pentacles is that apprenticeship card, building something new, creating something new, okay? Maybe you've got a side hustle, a new business, you know, whatever it is that you're investing in or creativity, right, that you are creating. Maybe some of you are writing that novel and you're in the writing process and it's going to make you big money down the road. or You're some other type of creator or artist um, and you are having success with it. You're feeling good about it um, and you are just, you know, being praised by other people. So that could be the secondary storyline there. The action that they want to take towards you, wow, you can't make this stuff up. Your person is not only in love with you, not only wants to fix this, not only wants you back, but they want to really take action. They're chomping at the bit. That Ace of Swords is divine guidance, divine new beginning. It's also the boner card. There could definitely be sexual attraction here. This person could be chomping at the bit, you know, like that. This King of Cups in this particular deck, he always kind of not creeps me out, but Kinda, because he just has that, <laughs> that staring gaze, like he is just staring at somebody with very hungry eyes. And um, this, you know, uh, Knight of Wands, I'm sorry, Ace of Wands confirms it. 
Very hungry eyes, not only physically and sexually, but hungry for something else, whatever that is. Again, maybe they see you as successful. Maybe they want, you know, your success, money, and fame. They want part of your income. I don't know. There could be other, other reasons. Maybe they're hungry for being a power couple. I mean, it could be so many things. But nonetheless, there is love here, and there is attraction, and there is the, the desire to uh, take action towards you and, you know, really get the ball rolling on something. However, there's definitely a big blockage here on the action that they actually will take towards you. So there is definitely something that has happened here, Sag, uh, with your person. Somebody may have done something, they messed up, they're in the wrong. Um, I don't know, but especially with this justice card here, whoa. You know, you've got Capricorn here as well, you've got Libra, so that's a possibility. Um, you could be dealing with an earth sign, you know, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, right? But geez, oh Pete, you cannot make this up. So they really like, I mean, if you look at this, just look at the difference in this. The action that they want to take towards you versus the action that they will take towards you, that is a huge difference. That is a huge leap. So they're dying to do something, but they're severely restricted in being able to. Now for some of you, it could be because they are married right? And they're already involved and they're not available to you. So they're stuck in bondage, okay? And they've really got to clear out the karma and finish their cycles with their current committed partner or spouse before they can take action towards you. Or this is a combination that indicates to me for others of you that perhaps your person really messed up in one way or the other. And they really want to come towards you, but they're scared to death to even try because number one, they'd have to be accountable and responsible for what they did. They'd have to admit to it. They'd have to apologize for it. They'd have to stand there with their tail between their legs. And also, um, <clears throat> they'd have to, uh, you know, be known for that, right? Which is a huge blow to their ego. Or they're not coming towards you because they're scared that you're going to reject them. Okay, or this person is bound in some other way. You know, there could be other things going on here that is keeping them stuck in their current uh, position that is stopping them from moving forward with you. Okay, what the soul wants on this level. Wow. Oh my gosh. They want redemption. They want forgiveness. They want a second chance. They want resurrection. Wow, on a soul level, they need to fix this situation with you because for a lot of you, this is a soul contract situation, especially with that judgment card. Judgment always points to past life connections, soulmates, and karmic cycles and things like that. And on a soul level, they are just desperate for you to give them another chance to make it right or to fix it in some way. And then this is the outcome that uh, they hope for. Two of Pentacles clarifying this Knight of Pentacles. They're really hoping for stability with you. They're hoping to be grounded, stable, secure in their own thinking and feeling and make an offer to you, a legit offer that sets down a new pentacle, building a new foundation and really following through on it and making good on their promises and then balancing the situation to make it right. So that's really interesting. Now for some of you on the shadow side of this card, this could mean Juggling a lot of responsibilities, which your person could be doing, or juggling multiple people. Romantically and sexually, if this person has, has a lot of lovers or third, third and fourth party situations, or juggling a lot of people in terms of other people in your life. Maybe there's children involved and in-laws and work, you know, in work people and whatever, right? So that's entirely possible. Oh my gosh. Saggy. This is definitely starting to open up. So what we're going to do is move on to the extended. I am going to pull uh, some more cards from this deck as well as these two decks. Let's get some reversals and really open up the storyline to see what's really going on with your person, what you can expect. We'll get some smaller cards here to answer any extra questions. We'll also pull some extra cards from other oracles to let you know what you need to be aware of, prepare yourself for, what they're thinking, feeling, what, you, what they want, what you can expect moving forward. So if you'd like to join me for the extended, that is provided below. The link is in the description box as well as a pinned comment in the comment section. Thank you for joining me. I'll see some of you on the other side and the rest of you, I'll see you back here next time. Bye.